Hey, how you doing, you bunch of fart knockers? Uh, yeah, so I'm talking to John about these analytics here, see? YouTube analytics. I like to look at them. John could care less. Uh, but, uh, you know, I like to see what our most popular video over the last 60 minutes are. You know, we got this t trailer towing troubles and the how to mow your lawn way back from 2014. Still our number two video over the last uh, 60 minutes. How to start a Blue Max chainsaw. Why? I don't know. I can't figure out a rhyme or reason to why, what is popular, when it is. A lot of times they'll trade up, they'll change up, and they'll be different. And there ain't no rhyme or reason to it, but it doesn't matter. I still enjoy stats. And I was, John was wondering why, and I'm like, well, I'm a baseball fan, John. Or at least used to be. Uh, I'm not so much any kind of sports, pro sports fan anymore, really. But, uh... Baseball fans, we have a tendency to be in the, you know, the stats and be big geeks and stuff like that. And uh, I was saying to John, you know, you know, that was what I was in doing. Then he started on something about wrestling. What was that you saying? I just said I usually keep watching wrestling, but I can't get it the way I used to. Because we lowered our TV where I don't get the channels. Yeah, but you were saying something about not really caring about sports or anymore. Well, I don't care about any sports Be anymore. Because uh, something yeah. about going to work. Well, yeah, I work possibly 365 days a year to make ends meet for one day to the next. And they go out and maybe work three months a year, four months a year, make millions and millions of dollars. They take them millions of dollars, get car lots and all this and that, where they're making more millions of dollars. Then they have enough nerve to whine and carry on like a bunch of little pansy sissies about the least smallest little stupid details. And it's like us poor people, we're the ones that gave them millions of dollars. It's like, why? Are we all that stupid? Why are we working so hard yeah. to make them so rich? Yeah, we work very hard to make them rich, and I say it should stop. I say a football player, baseball, basketball, whoever, professional, uh, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 a year, that, you know, let them have an income like we have. Hire somebody that, pl that plays ball or wrestles. Yeah. For the love of the sport. For the, yeah, for the love of the Not sport. Not because he can just get rich. Yeah. But it's like I used to be a Cleveland Browns fan till the kneeling. Now I could care less about Cleveland Browns. As far as I'm concerned now, they can be in the stadium playing. Lake Erie could overflow and flood and kill them all. Who cares? I want to say something. The reason that John says that is because he's a man of his word. He did not lie when he said, that's it, I'm not watching the Cleveland Browns no more. But how many people have I seen that said, oh, I, I'm not going to watch no more NFL, never again. And in a few days, the next week, the next they week, were right back to watching wee, it again. A wee little apology for them. Oh, we're sorry. You're not sorry. You don't give a crap. You want the money. That's the only reason. We all know that. That's the you only reason. You have to be reason. an idiot not to know that. So you know what you people look like to me? You look like those stupid freaking libtard stars that said they was going to freaking California, or I mean going to freaking Canada if Trump got elected president. Not a one of them. Oh, please left. leave. It's not too late. Leave. No, but you're just as silly as they are. You know, and I think that's the problem with the world today is nobody. Ain't got no, the balls. Nobody, nobody's word is any good no, anymore. The word's no it's good. the same way when people get married now. They get married and they take a vow before God and their family and the whole world that they're going to stay together thick and thin, good or bad, sickness and health and all this bullshit, cherish each other and blah, blah, blah. Obey is another one. There's another statement that they make. Oh, they take out you know? a bay out. Oh, oh, my God. And then, you know, how many people in, in less than a year's time throw it out the window, you know? Yep. It's like it means nothing. Nothing means no words mean anything to anyone anymore, it seems like. You know, just the very few, the very few of us say something and actually mean what we say. 
And that's why John didn't watch football today. I haven't watched it since I told him I was done. Yeah. I ain't going to. I'm done with football forever. Now, the rest of you people who said that you was never going to watch NFL again and watched NFL today, you're a bunch of liars. Your hypocrites. word's no good. You're, you're hypocrites. hypocrites. And I think you're a bunch of fools. And I laugh in your freaking face. You ain't you ain't human. The hell with you. Yeah, totally. <laughs> That's what I think. Yep. Dog, no, we're just talking to here. Are watching our stats from the time we started YouTube up to today. Our line is going up from bottom all the way going. Well, that's up. not that's not from the beginning of the day. That's the that's the last two days that you're looking at right but, there. But from when we started, it's going up. The trend is upward, upward. And the thing is, we looked at that and thought, well, look at Hollywood. Their trend's going down, down. Oh, God. Down. And faster and faster. And they wonder what's wrong. Look at CNN. Oh, well, my God. They, I don't know how they stay on. Well, the reason it's easy. They're fake. They're all too fake. But they're trying to act like it's not fake. It's fake. Now, when we and Keith do anything on the Internet, it's true. That's what we're doing. We're showing you. This is what we're doing. We make a lot of mistakes, but we don't cover them up. No, we show you. We no. let you see them. We're idiots. We don't care. We're just dumb hillbillies, yeah. and we know it. Yeah. Now, yeah. it's like a lot of people don't like Trump. And the main reason is, well, he's a billionaire. And they think, well, he's in there just to make everything for the richer, richer. But the thing is, he made his money. I'm not smart enough to do it. And half the world wasn't smart enough to do it. We're idiots. Face it. Face it. Get used to it. Yeah. Some people know how to do it. Other people don't. Now, there is a lot of bankers and stuff that's got a lot of the money. They got it through greed. And, you know, I, I don't... Cheating people. Yeah, cheating people and stuff. I don't know. a lot of people. Of a lot of people say Trump got his by cheating the people. I, I don't know. I, I wasn't there. I... I, I don't know, but I do know one thing. A lot of people say, well, he's still making all this money, and he's president to make his businesses bigger and all this stuff. But I remember, and we all saw it, anybody that paid attention, when he took the presidency, he gave up all his overseas money to, to our deficit, and he has since put over $100 billion into our deficit. Now, that doesn't amount to much after Obama took trillions for the first time ever, took trillions, multiple trillions, uh, uh, you know, added to it by multiple trillions. You know, a hundred billion doesn't look like that much next to that. It's too bad that he wasn't president, you know, yeah. six years ago because that a hundred billion would have looked like something. It had taken a big bite out of it. But still, what I'm saying is the fact that he did that. He didn't use any of that profit. It went to nothing but our deficit. It went to the United States of America. Nowhere else. Even his son, who is now in charge, didn't get those profits. His son only makes the profits from the companies that are inside of America. So guess what? They want to get more companies inside America. And that benefits us all. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. I don't know exactly what he did to become rich and famous, but I know that he's taken it now, taken a business where he was literally making hundreds of billions of dollars. Gave that year, all up to try to help us. Gave it all up to make $400,000 to yep. help us. Yep, he's a bad guy, bad, bad guy. By the only thing I see wrong with Trump, not yet, Hadn't done it. But if he gets us into a war, I'm like Jesse Ventura on this one. I'd say no president that hasn't been in war should be allowed to take us into a war. Well, I don't know. He's president. I don't care. Well, that's that's another big thing, too. Well, then maybe no president that hasn't served yeah. should be allowed to be president. Yeah, this is true. But I, then we needed Trump. We needed what yeah, he's Yeah, we, we definitely needed him. I mean, there's some good. There. And it does not seem like Trump wants to jump into a war. It does no, not no. seem that way at all. I mean, he is he is really trying to avoid war at all costs. It seems. Yeah. Uh, but well, then you know uh, you can't you can't 
blame any president for saying, hey, you know, well, he's whatever option's people. on the table, if I have to protect my yeah. people, I'll protect my yeah. people at all costs. But besides war and they were talking and stuff, instead of war, why not just have one of a few of our Secret Service people sneak over there and slit the guy's throat at night and come seals, back? You know? Yeah, just, I mean, a sniper from two miles away. Just put him down him. and forget it. Yeah. And if they want to continue, they'll be continuing on their I own. I wonder why we didn't do that 20 years ago. You know, we should have done it to his father and his grandfather. And done it to all, however many we had to do it until we've got one in there that doesn't act like a freaking ass wipe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. And the thing is, they'll come up with an excuse, well, we don't know where he is. Bull. The United States government has their nose in everybody's business trying to take everything away from us that they can. That's why they want to be this global government. They've already got cameras set up. They can bring a camera in from outer space down on anybody's car close enough to read their license plate. They, I've heard that they can actually, you can put a penny on the ground and they can read the date on it from oh. the satellite. Is that unbelievable? And, and that's say, that's been something they've done since the 1980s. Yeah, and they're saying, well, we don't know where he's at. You know where he's at. You know where he's at every second of the day, and we knew damn well where Osama bin Laden was, too. You can't tell me. You can't tell me that the government can't find me, a nobody that's done nothing you know, of any importance, good or bad. You know they could find me right now. If they wanted to. And you know, if they can find me right now in Ohio, a very populated state, then they should have easily been able to find Osama bin Laden in an apartment building in a little sparsely bent populated Afghanistan. I mean, that's ridiculous. Are you kidding me? I say they knew where he was every second I think since he was 25 years old. I think we got off track about these morons, young, poor people that is paying these millionaires. Yeah. Whatever. And all along, us poor people is paying these millionaire sports well, stars. Well, They're acting like a bunch of big freaking babies. And I don't care. I know that apology. The apologies that they've made are insincere. And I have no... I don't care. I don't care. I, I'm not even watching baseball anymore. Nope. I know baseball guys didn't do anything, but they are still in my in my the way I see the way I see it. They're all the same group yeah. of people. Well, I I can take it down to YouTubers. I know, like uh, the nomadic fanatic. Oh my! Now that guy has it made. What he's yes, doing? Yes, he does. But I watch it merely to get a laugh. Because this guy whines and carries on about the simplest, stupidest little things. Well, I watch him and my mind is looking at him and saying, you're a Democrat. You're as dumb as they come. You're whining about the stupidest things. Look at your life. You have it made. Why are you whining about the stupidest little thing? Oh, it's raining. Oh, the sunset isn't as pretty as I thought it was going to be. You know, or some campground didn't let him bring his own wood in. Yeah, I can't. it's just stupid stuff. It's like, buddy, look at your life. What are you doing? Yeah. You Un have enough. Unbelievable. Totally you, unbelievable. I would love to just go out and visit and drive around and have freedom like that. But yet, this whiny baby whines about the smallest things. It's like, my land. You know, there too, if there was possible, I'd love to shut off all of his income from YouTube. Say, then screw you. You want to whine about the little things and everything? Here, go out on your own. Yeah. Enjoy Who wants it. to watch that anyways? I want to watch happy people. Yeah. People that enjoy themselves and have a good time. You know, that's one of the reasons that I don't watch Pug as much as I used to is because he spends too much time now just trying to get people upset at him. Yeah. And then he gets mad because they get upset. Yeah. Everybody's a goof except for him. Yeah. He's now, the only I have one to say, can. man, he's still one of the better ones. He's still one of the better, better goofs. <laughs> he's one of the, the more interesting people on 
on YouTube to watch. But I I want I want to watch him jump ramps and and run. You know what I mean? Uh, build things, build cool stuff, and and not be mad at, at people. Or trying to trying to make other people and mad. Not at trying him. to instigate that. Yeah, he's a, he's a big instigator. Oh yeah. I, I love the videos where he's building something and he's just happy, you know? He doesn't even have to be jumping a ramp or racing a, what do you call it, lawn chair. Just just building something and being happy about it. You can learn things and, and you know, I don't know, it's cool, you know? But the problem is that he's got so many videos where he takes a camera in the Walmart. That knows that they're against it. And knows that he's going to get in trouble and then acts like it's he's surprised about it and all pissed off, you know, Costco and all that. Well, hey, I, I think it sucks too. I think you should be able to take a camera anywhere. If they have cameras on you, you should be able to have a camera on too. I agree with that. But you know better. You know that you're not supposed to. Yeah. And the damn thing is, this day and age, you can buy, we had those button cameras. You can buy a button camera. You could buy sunglasses that have a camera in them. You, you could put a camera on almost anything, and they would never know. So if you're wearing a big honking camera on your chest, aren't you doing that just to instigate? That's an instigator. Just, just to create problems. Yep, that's all yeah. he wants. He, he wants, he wants that. I what, know for a fact that's what that he has popular. pinhole cameras. I know he does. Why is he not using them? He wants to keep his popularity. Yeah. That's what makes him popular. So a lot of people instigate. like that drama shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. And then the thing is, once he instigates something and he's in trouble, he's the victim. Yeah. He, it's always he's the What acts are like, you? Acts like a Democrat. Yeah. Well, either that or a uh, feminist. For frig stakes. Yeah, grow up, pug. Beg my pardon for that outburst. <laughs> well, anyway, that was us complaining and bitching and whining. And I'm sure we'll probably get 20 thumbs downs, but you know what? We don't care. No, I don't care. We're still happy. We don't care. All right. We're just happy. If you thumbs us down, you're just watching our video. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.